like a good neighbor. Chris Paul was there. Allegedly. Kanye West, before he got suspended off Twitter, again, for talking about how much he loves a certain dictator that we won't say, gave this bombshell. He accused CP3 of running the pick and roll on his now ex-wife, Kim Kardashian. Now, he says this right after it's reported that Kim Kardashian, who is worth $1.8 billion, will get paid by Kanye on the first of the month. Wake up, wake up, wake up. It's the first of the month. $200,000 in child support. 18 years. 18 years. His own lyrics have come to life. According to Kim Kardashian, though, these are all lies. These are untruths. Just something for Kanye to distract people from the things that he's saying with, with Alex Jones and hanging out with Donald Trump and other people that don't maybe like our kind. But the question begs, who do you believe? Because I have a problem. Here's the situation that has kind of scrambled my mind a bit. If Kanye wanted to lie about someone Kim Kardashian had an affair with or had a relationship with in the past, why would he use Chris Paul? Chris Paul has been married for over a decade, has been with his, I believe, college sweetheart for 15, 16 years. They have a couple of kids together. You see him in the State Farm uh, commercial with Jake from, from State Farm. So why out of all of the celebrities and rappers and athletes that we know Kim has had some sort of interaction with, why would he choose Chris Paul? That's the question that I'm asking. And that should be the question that you're asking as well. Was it random? Was he watching a, a son's game? Does he know something because Devin Booker recently was smashing Kim Kardashian's sister, Kendall Jenner, who also cheated on Ben Simmons seven times, who also dated Blake Griffin and Jordan Clarkston. Does Kanye know some inside information? Whatever the case may be, it's a very interesting story and one of the reasons why you have to hope that Elon Musk uh, doesn't destroy Twitter. Maybe he sells it to somebody that knows what the hell that they're doing. Because let me tell you something. If Twitter goes away, which eventually everything does, nothing will be the same. You'll get something new. You'll get something different. But it will never capture the moments the way Twitter captures the moments like this. You tell me, who do you believe? Do you believe Kim Kardashian? Who we know, Rolodex is thick with ex-athletes, current athletes, entertainers, movie stars, rappers. Or do you believe Yeezy, who goes on interviews in a full ski mask, even though he's almost 50 years old? Feel free to let me know in the comments. Like and subscribe for all of that good stuff. And hey, it's December. It's holiday time. It's almost Christmas. So hopefully you're feeling very jolly.